Hello and welcome to You Have Control. Today we are looking at exercise 9A, turning flight. The aim of this exercise is to enter and maintain a turn in level flight and to return to straight and level flight on a predetermined heading. Now let's first look at some theory. We're going to look at this image of an aircraft and look at the weight and lift forces acting upon it. When we are flying straight and level, both of the forces are in equilibrium. We are not going up and we are not going down. Now let's look at what happens to the forces on the aircraft as we enter a turn. If we look at our lifting force, it remains perpendicular to the lifting surface or the wing and we lose part of our vertical lift component. So what we need to do is we need to make up for that. The way we do that is by increasing the lift by bringing the stick back which also affects our drag and we slow down. If we don't increase the lift and don't increase the back pressure on the stick we will start to descend. So now let's talk about how to turn the aircraft in flight. Before we perform any sort of turn we are going to select a visual reference point outside the aircraft. This reference point will be the point on the ground in which when we roll the wings out at the end of our turn, the nose will be pointing towards it. We're going to set an entry speed of 70 knots before we even enter the turn. The next stage is to look out. Look to your left, look to the right and look ahead of you. Now let's enter the turn. Roll the wings over to the left or the right and coordinate this turn with the rudder pedals. Once you have reached your desired bank angle, centralise the stick as well as your rudder pedals and the aircraft should stop rolling. Start easing the stick back, but use the horizon as your primary reference. If you see the nose rising above the horizon, it means you are either going to be going too slow or you will enter a gentle climb. If you let the nose drop below the horizon, the opposite will happen. Airspeed will increase and you will start to descend. These are both a sign that you're pulling the stick back way too much or not enough. The aim is to keep the vertical speed indicator at zero. Find a point on the nose where the horizon intersects and keep the nose there. Now your perspective will change and this change is due to you as the pilot either sitting lower or above the nose. This perspective change will look very different if you are rolling the wings over to the left or if you are rolling the wings over to the right. Make sure to keep the aircraft in balance and look out into the turn for other aircraft. At this point, your visual reference point should be coming around into view. You want to predetermine where your reference point will be and start to roll out towards it. Coordinate the stick and rudder to roll the wings in the opposite direction and once the aircraft is in straight flight where the wings are level with the horizon, centralise both stick and rudder. If all is done correctly, we should be flying straight towards our new reference point. Now we're going to talk about turning the aircraft onto a new compass heading. Our compass goes all the way from 0 to 360 degrees. Where 0 is north, 90 degrees is east, 180 degrees is south, 270 degrees is west and 360 degrees is north again. If we turn to the right we're going to increase the number and if we turn to the left we will decrease the number. An easy way to remember this is by turning it right up. The final part of this exercise is airmanship once again. Now what we're going to look at is our lookout. We're going to look out before the turn and during the turn, making sure we don't get disorientated. We need to count for wind and drift in the turn. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this video very useful. Please like and share this video, don't forget to subscribe, fly safe.